welcome everyone. This is always an exciting time of the year uh, to see uh, your faces, to see the history for some of our student athletes and coaches to get a sense of uh, the great history, the great student athletes that were here beforehand. UB's pioneering award honors those who've had a major impact in the infancy of UB women's athletics. From a coaching perspective, there's been nobody more influential than the late Jane Poland. I want to thank you for myself, for my sister, and for my parents. The Russell J. Gugino Award recognizes the contributions both of time and resources to the UB Athletics Department. Now, Willie Evans is in the UB Hall of Fame as a member of the 1958 Lambert Cup team and individually as well. Tonight, he joins his running mate of the last 36 years, Bobby, as co-recipients of this honor. So for you athletes, Every time you hear me yell, scream, jump for joy, just think about me as your mother, the one who can't be here to cheer for you. Norb Bashnagel has represented UB with distinction as an athlete and a coach, then went on to turn the Clarion University women's tennis program into perhaps the first in Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference history. All the student athletes over my 43 year career, both male and female, who I recruited, who I had a chance to teach and coach, without their success, I would not be here tonight. High school student athletes and teenagers afflicted with substance abuse in Western New York don't have a more devoted advocate than Dick Gallagher, the recipient of a master's degree from the UB School of Social Work and our second Distinguished Alumni Hall of Famer. For me, the purpose of this life is to leave a legacy of helping others and making a difference in the life of others. And I know that all of the recipients tonight have done this. When she left the program, nobody had played in more UB volleyball games. And currently, Barb's 481 appearances rank her third all time. Our initial Hall of Fame inductee, Barbara Tynus Reinick. I'd also like to thank Max, Joanne, and Eric, my coaches, for not cutting me at that first tryout and all the years after that. I'm pretty sure the bad jokes and loud music made that a difficult decision every year. In the modern day history of UB football, one individual has led the Bulls in rushing each of his four seasons of eligibility and his coach will present that workhorse running back, Anthony Swan, his Hall of Fame plaque. We didn't know coach service, nor did he know us, but just a short distance over there at the alumni arena, we all got to know each other very well. About 6.30 in the morning on that track. There he brought us to the brink of death <laughs> and back. But as we got to know him and respect him for his hard work and the things that he placed into us, teaching us how to push ourselves to achieve greatness and to always challenge ourselves in everything that we do. In the storied history of UB wrestling program that began back in 1933, only two individuals have had the distinction of captaining teams on three different occasions. The fact that we'll provide some insight on the leadership abilities and respect earned by our last inductee, David Hickson, but I truly believe that we are here to honor the spirit of competition. That spirit that exists in all of us here today. I'm happy to see that this very spirit to compete is alive and well here at the University of Buffalo. I am proud to be a bull and I hope that we all continue to see the world in blue and white.